Welcome back. This week we're going to go away from the streamer stuff. Uh, we had a pretty good run at it. We did a lot of articulated stuff minus the salmon fly we did uh, a couple of weeks back. Um, we've been mainly focusing on the streamers. We did a lot of single hook patterns there for a while, but uh, you know, spring coming, we're getting closer to some bugs flying around and everything, so we're going to do a couple videos on some. Uh, this week we're going to go with Caddis Emerger. Um, we're going to do some actual smaller stuff before we go getting back into the streamers here before too long. But um, I wanted to do this one. Uh, this was one of the Caddis Emergers that I fished constantly when I was back home uh, fishing on the J on spring. You know, when those granums start flying around, this Emerger pattern was just deadly. And it's so simple. I mean, if, if you just sat and tied this without talking or anything like that I would I would guess probably two minutes you could have this thing done I mean it's, it's so quick but um, normally when I fish this one I'll fish this on a two fly rig so I'll have you know a larva down below and then you know probably 18 inches or you know however you know gate depending on the water depth or anything I'll have a tag coming off of my tippet and then I'll, I'll fish this emerger up top and a lot of the times, you know, especially as you're getting close, closer to the actual hatch coming up when they're starting to emerge and everything, this caddis pattern really picks up a ton of fish. So we're going to go ahead and get into this one. Like I said, I would guess probably five minutes even with me running my yap. We should have this one done. So to start off on this one, this is just a size 14 um, Dairiki hook. Uh, just a regular merger. Um, we're going to get a thread base down and on this I have a killer um, caddis glass bead. Um, I used to do these a lot with just regular brass beads as well but I, I like these these little glass beads they really I don't know, I don't have any data to back it up, but I, it's, it's confidence with me as far as, you know, when I'm fishing these. And the success rate as opposed to a brass, it's just a confidence thing. Like I said, no data whatsoever, but definitely prefer these over the brass. So next up on this, I'm just going to take a quick cut, and this is just Senyo's laser dub in white, and I started using this a lot more because it has that UV in it. There's just a little bit of a sparkle to it. Um, I started using that a lot more. I used to use CDC. I used to use um, regular z -Lon, whatever it may be. Um, but for this, we're just going to go with the, the Senyo's. And all I'm going to do is just tie this in here, and I'm going to take it right up to the bead. And you can see, I mean, it's not a really thick amount that I have there. It's really sparse, and there's just maybe one or two flakes of that, uh, one or two flakes of the UV in there. So I'm just going to cover this up, get my good thread base down, and now we're going to go on to this Midge Cactus Chenille. This is Peacock. Um, I'll do this in like the Peacock colors, the tan black, um, even like the lighter Caddis Green, whatever it may be. Um, usually 14s and 16s. And this is a great pattern out here, out west too. Um, especially you go getting around the Mother's Day caddis we have on a lot of our rivers out here. That's this is a really underrated pattern. I have no idea where this pattern came from. Um, it may have been my buddy John Stoinoff. He used to fish a lot of these patterns like this. Um, he may have turned me onto this pattern on spring or the J, whatever it may be, but uh, it has caught a pile of fish for me over the years. 
And then all we're doing is we're just wrapping this cactus right up to the front. You can keep these pretty sparse. I mean, you go looking at a cactus, whether it's the larva or the emerger, whatever it is, they stay pretty slender throughout. It's not like a mayfly where you go getting a, a really good taper or anything like that. Um, they stay pretty slender. So I don't go doubling up my material like I would or worrying too much about a taper like I do with mayflies. This is just a really quick slender body and then I got that little bit of laser dub coming out and I got some cuts on my fingers so I don't know if we're finishing by hand is going to fly today. We'll have to go old school. Just throw this on there. But if you're wanting to fill out a fly box and wanting to have effective patterns, I mean, you can't go wrong with this one. You really can't. Um, and then the last thing that I'll do with this is I'll just kind of take my scissors and I'll push it right through. Don't worry about a nice clean cut. Just kind of push right through this. I like these a little bit stubby actually. And my fat thumbs in the way. There you go. That is it. That is all it takes for this caddis pattern. And like I said, this is one of the more effective patterns that I have fished. And it's so simple to tie and so fast. Um, like I said, I mean, you can knock these out in no time. If you want to, you can throw a little uh, counter wrap with a rib on there just to secure this uh, cactus, you know. But I mean, it's a pretty durable. It's a pretty durable material, and in all honesty, I mean, you're not really going to uh, save yourself a pile. I mean, you get six, seven fish on one of these, and you know it comes unraveled. It's really nothing lost. I mean, you spent two minutes tying it, so. Add a couple seconds counter wrapping it with a rib or whatever, but there it is. I mean, that's as simple as it gets as far as the caddis emerger goes. Um, there's some other ones that I use a lot, you know, the all 16s. I did a video on that one a while back, and then you can go with the soft tackles and all that as well. Um, so there's a pile of options, but I mean, like I said, if you're really looking to fill out a fly box in a hurry with good, effective patterns, you can't go wrong with this one. Um, but if you guys have any questions, comments on it, let me know, and I'll get back to you. But thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next fly.